The following champion versus champion contest is a no holds barred match. And it's for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. We have seen before what Dragunov is capable of, and it is scary. You know, guys, as talented as this superstar is, I think ambition might have clouded his judgment. Reigns is in God mode as we speak. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. I've been at this table for decades, and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right.
They just can't help but be in awe of the Tribal Chief. I agree, Saxton. This man has truly earned his spot at the head of the table. Introducing the challenger from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov! And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the undisputed Serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is. The ultimate prize. The Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. And we got the bell. Undisputed WWE Universal Championship is at stake. Each competitor is confident that they'll achieve the task at hand. You always have to bet on yourself. Ignore the haters, shove it in the doubters' faces, and shut out the noise. And that was a precisely measured attack. He left an opening. Spiked with a urinagi. a counter. He takes control. And he goes into the ring. Punch lands. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. And that's the kind of offense that's going to earn Reigns a spot in the Hall of Fame. And Dragunov's resolve might be wavering here. Overwhelming attacks for Roman now. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Goodness, the champion into the cover! Just gets the shoulder up. Wow. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. A match like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can have anything to the equation. Each competitor responds differently to the rules being thrown out the window. The key is who can stay alert and remain in control. I wish someone would throw you out a window. Reigns with a schoolboy, not done yet. Lift it up as a power. Sit out, powerbomb. The champion with plans of driving their opponent through the earth. Able to sidestep it. And Reigns got to haymaker after haymaker. Ooh. Reigns turns that around. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Big shots being fired right now. Not a competitor letting up. Reigns is getting set up. And here it comes. The head of the table. Us. Reigns is setting up, Michael. Here it comes. The spear by Reigns. The champ will stay champ. So there's that. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. I don't believe it. Reigns has ended so many matches that way, but this one just took an unexpected turn. Oh, man. You felt that. The big dog is unleashed. India has to try. 
trust his instincts at the Reigns, a champion. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Makes the cover. Good job by our champion holding on to that title. What a title defense by the champion. Yeah, he left it all in the ring tonight with. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. This man is facing an opponent tonight who is simply unstoppable. Can he break Braun Breaker tonight? He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker, ready to dominate. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker! Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition.
The second generation sensation, Braun Breaker, looking to continue making his family proud tonight. Breaker has really been focused on forging his own path, creating his own legacy here in WWE. He's done the math, and he knows it spells disaster for anyone who dares get in his way. Shinsuke Nakamura has his sights set on destruction tonight, though, and he has a victim in mind. Shinsuke has embraced his more ruthless tendencies as of late, and it's only made him a bigger threat. This isn't even about winning for him. It's just about causing chaos. Braun dodges just in time. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Ow. Big knee to the midsection. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. Followed up by another to the chest. Measured stomp right to the gut. Stomp to the gut. Heading up, he's thinking big. From way up, double axe handle connects. And here's a cover. And a shoulder in the air. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. And Breaker didn't exactly look like his usual powerhouse self there. And the rock star Nakamura rocking his opponent with his signature hard-hitting offense. Shinsuke Nakamura is one of the hardest-hitting superstars in the world. We've seen his strikes lay out even the toughest competitors. That's true, Cole. But the best way to keep from getting hit by a train is by staying off the tracks. Dodging, countering, and avoiding Nakamura's attacks is the best way to find an opening and neutralize the King of Strong Style. Braun Breaker, and he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Here it comes. Nicely done. And there's the cover. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Frankensteiner. Nicely done. Uh-oh. And he saw that coming from Braun. He knew that was coming. Oh, what a close line. And now Breaker is playing to the crowd. What a beautiful moonsault. He's struggling a bit here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Nakamura might need to find a reprieve. Like I mentioned earlier, staying out of Nakamura's path has provided an opening and neutralized the King of Strong Style. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT connects. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Ah, oh, setting them up for a double underhook slam. Braun setting himself up top. Up high. And then just from the top. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. Draped across the top rope. Hoping to end it here. Rope break, pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Four, two. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Oh, oh. elbow to the face. Oh, that's just insulting. Vicious right forearm. Here we go. Not 
Nakamura setting up Kinshasa. That might have knocked Breaker out for good. Inhuman at this point. He switches it back around. Ron Breaker looking for old faithful. Breaker looking to force a submission with the Steiner recliner. That we can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Braun fires back. Punch right to the face. Waistlock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Belly to belly, way overhead. Braun Breaker has his target acquired. This could end it all. Braun Breaker downright decimating him there. It's all in his DNA. Braun's genetics are just built different. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Breaker's pulled in. Gorebuster! Top rope, here we go! From the top, diving double axe handle. Oh, and then the chest as well. And that puts Breaker on his heels. Braun is dangerously close to being taken out here. And the forearm smash. Knee to the body from Shinsuke. Shinsuke's not done yet. Now on the apron. Oh! Knee right to the back of the neck. Producing a trampling. And there's no questioning the abilities of Shinsuke Nakamura after this display. Breaker needs to find that spark and rally. Set back into the ring. Look at it in here. This could be it. And a victory. A win. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. A disheartening loss for Braun Breaker here. Breaker just has to reflect on this loss. Maybe go back to the drawing board to figure out what went wrong. La Familia is before us, and they are all business. Came up the hard way, paid their dues, and now reaping success. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 472 pounds, 
The D'Angelo family surveying the scene, ready to make their move. Well, I have a feeling the opposition is going to be sleeping on the mat real soon. Better than sleeping with the fishes. Here comes Angel and Umberto. Fighting for their family name, and the ladies love it. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Gaza and Umberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. Angel and Umberto, Los Lotharios, Lothario, set for action here tonight. These two have a tendency to lose their focus, but when they're on, they are absolutely impressive, guys. Yeah, Los Lotharios are not just smooth with the ladies. When it comes to the in-ring work, they have some of the smoothest offense you will ever see. Hopefully, they can focus up on this one. Yeah, but they've got to deal with the seedy underbelly in the D'Angelo family. While Stax and Tony might live by a certain code of silence, they certainly do a lot of talking in the ring. Stax turning his attention to the WWE Universe now. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Ow! Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Clothesline. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Single underhook suplex. Nice. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He could pin his opponent right here. No, a kick out. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Nice suplex. And the knee. Clean tag for his partner. Will this be enough? Pushes through after two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Angel showing his instinct. Whoa, not quite yet. Snap Merritt over. Goes down low with the drop kick. There's a tag. Wrist lock applied from the top. Arm 
drag. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Just cranking the head. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Now that'll do some serious damage. This match grinded him down a little. Technique paid off for Los Lotharios. Kick to the gut. <laughs> oh, what a right! Fall away moonsault. Wow! Goes into the pin. No, he kicks out. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Here he comes off the tag. Stop in the leg. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. And Stax is failing to make any advances. Stax needs to find that spark. Now hooking him up. Face buster. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Placed it over into a suplex. And now he's looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. He's getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Snake eyes. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Kick it out in time. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Wicked knee lift. Tagged in. And Umberto could be wasting time playing to the crowd. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. A well-aimed strike. He's turning the tables. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. After the one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. He's tagging out. Up and around. Down with a tilt to world backbreaker. Big forearm. Tag with a punch. And now look at Umberto's face after that. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Turning his attention.
attention to the WWE Universe now. What a hurricane! And he's able to fight Angel off. And now thrown back into the ring. Big overhand. The springboard attack fails to land. Caught with a clothesline. The end is looming now. Yeah, not looking good at all. Watch this display of power. Oh, hitting me. Oh, my God. The moonsault. Shoulders down. Keep these guys in check. Able to evade. A kick to the stomach. Look at this. And a big knee drop. Is it the finishing touch that needs? Oh, across the top rope. of counter. Angel, double underhook. Wing clipper into the submission. The official ask it. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Ah, oh, and Stax fights back. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kicks out. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Tag is registered. A running Hurricane Rana. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Caught with the elbow. Kick to the gut. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Nasty right hand. Vicious in Zaguri. And set right into the corner. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. This could be it. Cover for the win. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Caught the leg. Oh, did you see that? Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Snap Merritt over. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Ooh. Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Able to get there in time. Oh, running as 
STO plants him. Nicely done. Bad predicament right here. Straight impact on the throat. He's expressing pain now. He can really stand to get back as good as he's getting right about now. Listen to this crowd. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Shoulder up before the count started. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. In full control here, oh. face first. Where's the tag? What do these two have in mind? Oh, double backstabber. Ouch. D'Angelo down, and he might be out. Tony timed that one. Oh, angle of German. A running Hurricane Rana. Angel getting the crowd riled up right now. Goes down low with a basement drop kick. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Sky high. Oh! Knee strike connects. Tony is completely out of sorts here. Angel, double underhook. Wing clipper. Into the submission. Tap out. Do it. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. And Angel is firing up the crowd here. And he gets the tag. Caught with the Lariat. And he's able to fight Angel off. Look at this. Ball oh, from the rope. Oh, perfect kick. As their opponent hooked a couple of jab, placed it over into a suplex. An angel looking worse than ever after that. Yeah, at this point, Angel has to dig down deep if he wants to stay in this. Up and around, down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Tag, switching it up. Tony sizing him up. Up and protoplex. No doubt, D'Angelo ended this. Makes a cover, and he makes the save for his team. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Tagging his partner in now. Back into the ring. German suplex. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Tag made. And scissor. This could do it. Here are your winners, Humberto and Angel Garza, Los Lombardios. Unable to finish the job, the D'Angelo family will go home in defeat. There will probably be a family meeting about this loss. Glad I'm not at the table with Tony and Stax.
a man, or perhaps creature, known as Uncle Howdy, has arrived. The only thing we know about this mysterious figure is that he arrives with nothing but malicious intentions. Many have seen Uncle Howdy deliver messages on screen, but seeing him in person is completely different. Completely unnerving, you mean? There's no telling what happens next. Really no telling how much destruction Uncle Howdy plans to cause here. How much pain and anguish will be enough to satisfy him? If that's even what he's after, it's impossible to guess his true motives. Clearly he has some sort of agenda. We'll just have to wait and see. The Silent Man has arrived. Dexter Loomis is here. And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. The faraway stare, the never-changing demeanor, Dexter Loomis is in his opponent's heads before he even enters the ring. The tortured artist Dexter Loomis intending to use the squared circle as his canvas here tonight. This is, this is not, no, this is not normal. The mysterious, eccentric Dexter Loomis here tonight, clearly focused intensely on his opposition. Mysterious, eccentric, really cool. Disconcerting, unsettling. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Uh-oh, Cope. I'm not sure how you get out of the Million Dollar Dream. Well, I guess he just showed us how. Man. Oh, what a job. That'll let you up. In full control here. First in the turnbuckle. Boom! What a right! Inverted tree of woe position now. Able to interrupt the attack. Dealing with a figure like Uncle Howdy can't be easy. There's so much mystery in the man. Will that be a distraction? I would say look beyond the smoke and mirrors. You have to take Uncle Howdy out of his environment. Make the puppet master into a mortal man. The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night night. Sleeper hold lock. Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh my goodness. Not for long. Cross body. Lands an elbow. Nice reversal by Loomis. Ooh. He 
turns it around on Loomis. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Drop kick! Oh! A demoralizing attack on Howdy there. Becoming a bloody mess in there. Driven down face first. Uncle Howdy, here's a cover. And the referee stops the count before two. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. From the top, on top, bomb! Some intense offense from Loomis, taking unsettling pleasure in destroying his opponent. He just won't give up. Loomis might have something big on tap. Oh, I had that well scouted. Finally, Howdy's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Few superstars have collided like... Here he goes for the win! And a strong kick out in one. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Is this necessary? Rip it at the eyes. What a headbutt. Vicious. Show of disrespect from Howdy. Ooh, man! Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And a series of vicious stomps. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. What's he planning to do here? Roll him out his belly, single leg crab. An uncanny showing of... He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon sleeper. Locked in tight. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Now would be a wise time to submit. And he chooses to let go of the hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Trump kick with precision. Countered with the knee to the face. Well, the squared circle has been transformed into a ballroom of sorts for Sister Al. 
Abigail. Good night. Uncle Howdy taking charge of his environment. The time to run is now. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Will this match end on a sub... And watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wants. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. And Loomis able to reverse that. And my word, this has been a match for the ages. Raw power. It could be lights out. Dexter Loomis with the elevated arm triangle. This could do it. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is a... The elevated triangle, but... Short shots to the ribs break the hold. Dexter Loomis might be upset with this loss. A disappointed Dexter Loomis. Who knows what's going to happen now? I don't know what's worse. Loomis' mood after a victory or a defeat? Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well-thought-out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. Yeah! Let's get the party started! Whoop, whoop. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. Let's go! Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests.
the following contest is a tag match set for one fall. And it is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. And their opponents, the team of The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs. And always ready to launch an assault, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even her partner, Piper Niven, can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk, but this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. But man, are they easy to dislike, especially Chelsea. Well, they're standing across the ring from a team that's already gotten the party started, Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Flips and tricks, here we come. That's kind of an understatement, Corey. Jaw-dropping offense, tandem moves we've never seen before. That's what Carter and Chance are all about. They love to have fun in and out of the ring, and we're about to witness that yet again. Double big back body drop. The champion's getting overwhelmed by precision tag team wrestling. Keeping a loss at bay for now. There's a tag. Oh, close line. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Ooh. <laughs> Drop toe hold. Here's the pick. Clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Teeth. 
Oh, what a clothesline! <laughs> Ooh, it's dropped right on their face. Sidekick on the mark. Drop kick hits the mark. Nice takedown with the leg sweep. Oh man, by the hair. Hair whip. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. She returns the favor there. Down to Otis and a double axe handle smash. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. If the champions want to keep their titles, they can't allow any more of these double teams. Canadian Destroyer. Looking for the victory. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Locking up the arms from behind. I'm prettier. We can have a new champion. Is it enough? The cover. Two. And we have new tag team champions. Here are your winners and the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. The team. Caden Carter and Katana Chance wash with defeat in this loss. The party's over and their music isn't playing. Chance and Carter just not able to get it done tonight. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is highly skilled, probably simulated this match in WWE 2K a dozen times already. Well, it's just called analyzing the angles and having a plan in mind. The Apex Predator is on the hunt. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! Ice water in his veins and death in his eyes. Randy Orton has left the trail of fallen that has spanned over two decades. 
And there are very few champions in this game who are more decorated than the Apex Predator. And we also know that when Randy Orton goes to that place, it's over. A competitor who knows what he's doing at all times. That's why there's only one Apex Predator, and his name is Randy Orton. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper's schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder, always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's got him down. Is this it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Down to Ponent and a double axe handle smash. Uh oh. And Orton gets countered there. Into the corner. This can't be good. Uh oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Suck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his uh, face. Come on. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's cut. Way to break the curse. Side of an elbow. That shot on Gulak did not miss. It's attacks like that one that have made Orton such an enduring superstar. With a laundry list of titles and accolades over the years, Randy Orton has more than cemented his legacy in WWE. And yet, there are plenty of competitors still bullheaded enough to believe that they can be the one to bring Orton down, to put an indelible mark on all he's accomplished. No doubt Randy realizes that, and he uses it as more fuel for his fire. Oh, no, that's a lot of blood now coming from Orton's head. Oh, to the back of the net. Is it enough here? And it's Randy Orton able to stop the count. Not even a near fall there. This one is headed outside, guys. Set up for the Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Just stretch it out the arm. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or block in a hole. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Drew Gulak with power on point. Yeah, Gulak is chipping away bit by bit. Orton with great ring awareness. Boom! He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Randy toying with his opponent a little bit. Orton with a fence press by Randy Orton. He can end it here. And a kick out at two. Just barely, but it counts. Oof. Orton measuring him. Oof. 
Oh, kick right to the gut. Lutez press. Raining down right cover. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. I guess Gulak needs to double check the numbers in his PowerPoint presentation to figure out exactly what went wrong tonight. You are looking at the main event. Bray Wyatt has transformed himself and John Cena into the weapons of mass destruction. Guys, this is bizarre. The following contest is a six-man tag match. And at a combined weight of 525 pounds, John! These two love to have a good time. A good time? This is one of Bray Wyatt's disturbing mind games. Yeah, Wyatt is breaking down Cena's psyche, telling Cena he's nothing but muscle, making Cena a joke. Well, if you think either of them is a joke, watch what happens to anyone in the ring with the weapons of mass destruction. Uh, Saxon, stop dancing. I can't help it. It's like my hips and my hands have a mind of their own. And their partner from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 425 pounds, Rakishi! Don't be fooled by his dance moves. This is the 425-pound foundation of the bloodline. Yeah, when the party's over, it's going to be painful. And you're looking at the man who says when the party's over. Let's go. Let's go. The thing about Rikishi, guys, is he loves to have fun, right? But he's all business when the bell rings. That's the best part. Once the music stops, Rikishi, one of the most threatening superstars in all of WWE. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And at a combined weight of 725 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus Ridge Holland.
That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. Here we go as we start this three-on-three -three matchup. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. Put it in the corner now. Oh, what a chop. My nice side headlock applied. Oh, what a good Punch. measure. Butch now going to the top. From the top. Double axe handle. Butch looking to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh, no, this is going to be hard to watch. Ah, agonizing. A vicious stomp, and this superstar just reminding everyone how vicious they can truly be. Hammerlock applied, and this superstar is just imposing their will on their opponent. Hammerlock all tied up, nowhere to go. Oh, 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 no, 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 ow! Just punishing. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Kicks out at just one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Sharp knee. Butch continuously executing his game plan. I don't see Butch slowing down anytime soon. Cross body. These superstars face a unique set of challenges in this six man tag match. Yeah, Cole, we've seen teams of three. Makes the cover. And he makes the save for his team. Oh. Stiff headbutt. There's the switch. John Cena's in. Attacking the knee. Brutal move that can take away all the mobility in that leg. He's in off the tag. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Crank in the head. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Uh-oh. Monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Trying their opponent's arm out. Ah, oh, double stop right to the arm. Butch looking to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh, no, this is going to be hard to watch. Ah, agonizing. He is delivering elbow after elbow. the way. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Butch's flame looks like it flickered after that attack. Cena taking things up a notch, rising to the occasion. Just absolutely ruthless is Butch. Partner tags in. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Caught with a punch. Oh, that was inventive. Catches a punch. Now 
Rowan busted up Ridge. Counters! Ridge Holland letting his opponent know he's ready to brawl. Tag is made, and here we go for the win. Strong kick out late into the match. How'd he do that? Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Lands face first. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. So much damage inflicted. In comes Bray Wyatt. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Fez Press raining down right hands. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Carefully placed stump to the arm. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Evades their offense. Double underhook. Hoist it up. Oh, Stalling taking their time. We got all day up here. Boom! his partner for the tag. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He turns it around. Power bomb. That's got to be it. There's two. And still in this. How? How? Rikishi could be moments away from being beaten. My friends, we have reached the bitter end. Will Rikishi get back up for the win? Tagged into action. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Uh-oh. And Rikishi evades that. Nasty headbutt delivered by Rikishi. Ready to inflict more damage. Here it comes! Oh, shaker! Rikishi got all of it. Looking for the victory! Raped across the top rope. Planning on what to do next. Lock face first. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Ooh. Oh, what an accident. And the chairs of the crowd couldn't save Rikishi from harm there. Earth shaking power slam. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, put down face first. That's a free fall. Talk about dismantling your opponent. In comes John Cena. Sheamus denies the attack. Muscles up their opponent. Emerald Flosion. And Cena is firing up the crowd here. Got the tag. Got the tag. Right on the chops. with the reversal. He 
He is delivering elbow after elbow. Springboard stunner by Cena. Tag made, fresh man in. Fez Press and the piston like right hands. Fez Press raining down right hands. Denied with an elbow. Look at this. Oh, and a bad breaker. Right to the spine. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Tagged in. And there's the tag. John Cena into the ring. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Cover. And Cena pops the shoulder up. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Oh, look at that suplex. No, oh, wow, they do a powerbar. A menacing look from Butch. He eludes the contact. And this might not have a play. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oh, great. We are into our ringside furniture here. Clear. John Cena. Attitude adjustment. Got all of it. And Sheamus is down. Can't last much longer at this pace. Abel, there's a cover. Oh, oh, no, they, oh, oh. they can't win this way. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Are you not at the game? Able to get there in time. <laughs> As the arm ringer, their opponent that gets countered with a right hand. Summon the sister. Oh. Teammate makes the save. And just in time. Look out. Jump bomb. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. Tag. tag is made. Mandible claw applied. Thrust right in. To Sister Abigail. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough? Up high. Diving cross body. Throwing all costs into the win. Well, no, it's roll up. And the count stops short of two. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Hurled oh. away. God. Boom. Boom right in the button. Uh-oh. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. And he stops the count for his partner. Ah, he 
Nice hip toss. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. Suplex. Tags him in. Can he take advantage? What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Wyatt cuts him off. He kicks out at two. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Ah, claw to the face. Be careful not to get disqualified. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. What a unique submission maneuver here. Look at the pain his opponent's in. How much punted? And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. And Sheamus. Oh, he's going for that high cross. Way up top. The high cross. Wow. Sheamus got all of it. Makes the cover. And they're still in this. For most men, I call that resiliency. But for Wyatt, it's become habitual to take his opponent's worst punishment with a smile. I can see it on his face. Sheamus is ready to reload and get back on the attack after that kick out. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. Sits down with a driver. Delivered back into the ring. Ridge looking for a raucous fight night atmosphere as he turns his attention to the crowd. And tag, he's in now. Finally. Compromised position here. No, oh, someone called a dentist. This their opponent's oh, legs. Oh, oh. Is Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. I am the counter. Boom, return fire with the headbutt. Reversed it right into the suplex. Rikishi tagged in. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And this deep into the match, it's crucial to have a good strategy with your partner. You don't want to get hurt and left hanging. Whip back into the ring. Rich in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. Oh, an arm breaker. He's in off the tag. Shoulder tackle. He got whipped into that corner. Left an opening and got a kick to the fit. This is a tough one to escape from. Prying the hands apart, but he found a way. Shoulder tackle.
comes a tag. What are we going to see now, Corey? Oh, man, targeting the gut. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt on the move. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Ah, John Cena has it where he wants him. You can't see me. This is vintage Cena. And the patented five knuckle shuffle. Cena powering up his opponent into position for the AA. Is that all Cena needs? He stops the count for his partner. Cena looking to tie his opponent up. TF submission applied. Submission move for Cena. Cena cranking back on the hold. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. In off the tag. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Take off, misses, dodges out of the way. Boom! No doubt, Sheamus ended this. And right between the shoulder blades. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. And he is saved by the ropes. Man in. I am afraid of what we are about to see. You gotta win at any cost. And he slides him back to the mat. Cut with that sharp elbow. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Setting up. All the way up. Suplex. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Five suplex directly into the armbar. Nicely done. Look at the transition into the hammerlock arm breaker. This is agonizing. Oh! There's the tag. Nice running crossbody. Back of the neck getting worked over. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Playing possum, shoulders down. He got the shoulder up in time. He's still got more left in the tank. Held in a perilous position. Oh my God, superhuman power. Oh, pinpoint kick to the back. Holland able to counter. Oh, that might have just broken something. He's tagging out. A 
he gets tossed back into the mat. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. And the damage continues to stack up on Butch. Cena going into the reserves to still find some fight. From the top, good lord, taking flight. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Grabbing a hold of the arm. And that definitely made solid impact. A show of confidence from Rikishi. Still, what's next? Oh. oh my God! What an arm breaker! Now Butch has one thing in mind. Butch looking for Baron. Butch can put it away here. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. Face of Rikishi has seen better days, I'll tell you that. Oh, and a headbutt. Oh, Rikishi. Rikishi ready to go. Not done yet. The wheels are turning for Rikishi as he ascends up the ropes. Rope shaker from Rikishi. Butch in big time jeopardy. And there's the save. Draped across the top rope. Climb four. Here's the tag. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Oh, no mandible claw. Paralysis is kicking in. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. Butch has got to find a way out of this dire spot. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. And that was an effective attack, guys. Down with force. Targeting a body part, working the arm. Muscled all the way up. Into the cutter. Holland might just have it. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. There is something inhuman in the soul of Bray Wyatt. It's the only explanation for what we just saw. When your opponent can hit. Taking flight. Bang, what a splash. Here are your winners, Butch Ridge Holland and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, the Brawling Brutes. Huge win here in six-man tag team action. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them.
Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Oos. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California. Weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! Jay Uso in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jay needs to do on his own. And Jay is more than equipped to do it. The entire WWE Universe on their feet from Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Here comes the lone wolf. been a king, a jester, an authority figure, even a bum. Yeah, but now Corbin is truly himself. No more gimmicks. His past destroyed, Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. Over the course of his career, Baron Corbin has worn many hats, had many names, but he's put all of that behind him. He's burned the past and now approaches competition with a ruthless focus. Yeah, forget about all the Corbins you thought you knew. This is a different man, a changed man. Baron Corbin has a new fury to him, an intimidating intensity. Corbin seems more than ready to show that off here in this one. And then we have Jey Uso, an extremely talented in-ring competitor who accomplished great things with his family by his side. But Jey doesn't need any backup to get the win. He can do it all by himself. Jey actually prefers to do things on his terms, to be in the driver's seat. He's ready to make a statement here that Jey Uso is a certified threat with or without someone by his side. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Connecting with a sharp elbow. He's looking a little off balance. Brutal offense. Gets him with the counter. Suplex. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Jey Uso going solo tonight. What do you think his main strategy should be in this match without his brother? Jey has a lot of reps as a singles competitor now. It's important that he believes in himself and the lessons he's learned. 
They call him main event Jay Uso for a reason. He needs to remember that he's been here before. Cover! A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I didn't think this match was close to over. Oh man, Jay's face telling a painful story now. Had that one scouted. Hooked up. DDT. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. That is the meaner, more aggressive Jay Uso coming out to play. He must have seen that coming. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. What grace. Float over and lift. Float over. Nice. DDT. Been kicked right to the gut. Oh, man. Look at this. Whipped right into the barricade. I don't think anyone's questioning how Jey Uso feels about his opponent now. Here he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Not oh, right to the throat. He thinks he has it. No kick out for Corbin. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Oh my lord! He may be in a bad way here. That's just the kind of thing main event Jey Uso does, gentlemen. Corbin with a deep six. Corbin with the emphatic, aggressive statement right there. And the sick pleasure out of it to boot. Thanks for coming. End of days. And it can be all over for Jey. There's two. Oh, he was almost finished. What a crucial kick out. And the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. And it perched up top. Diving knee drop. Great strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oof. To the gut, too. Was mounted with punches and not now oh, trampling the opposition. Corbin is imposing his will. This is Corbin looking at his best. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Corbin gets stymied. And he puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Yeah, Uso able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Uh-oh. And Corbin with a counter. Close line. Well, that leave a mark. And Jay is being picked to pieces here. All of Jay's arsenal is being restricted. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Flying. What? Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Into the barricade! All the way up and big powerbomb! Corbin is really showing his vicious side. Right now, Corbin is doing whatever he wants.
The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Oof. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Oh, ouch. Oh. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Sweat put into this match, well worth it. Here is your winner, main event, Jay Uso. Baron Corbin was definitely not expecting to lose tonight. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. A faction that has amassed unparalleled power. And the bloodline is not afraid to showcase that power. This is still their yard. And the bloodline has survived rare losses, defections, yet still remain strong. Yeah, tonight is a showcase of the Bloodline's strength. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Now, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline, and their opponents at a combined Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes. They'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of their way. Staying out of Judgment Day's business might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. I don't like anyone's chances against the bloodline, though. When you think bloodline, words like dominant, unbeatable, and brutal all jump to mind. In some ways, you have to respect it. The way the bloodline has been able to seize control of situations, anyone who says they're not intimidated going up against them is probably lying, especially to themselves. Ouch! Just a nasty headbutt. Jarring impact. The champ taking their share of hits now. Yeah, as Jimmy was staking his claim with that. Basement drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh, look at this aggression. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Super kick finds the mark. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Sends him into the corner. Tagged into the action. Uh-oh. Face first. Great counter. Taking off from the ropes. What an incredible display of athletics from the Colossus. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. Right across the chest. The champions with the double team action, and it really paid off. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Now's not the time to worry about rules. Now you know you're in a fight with a champion that will do whatever it takes to win. The Prince telling his opponent, come get you some. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. If this works, it could change the course of the match. First up top, a diving knee drop as the challenger pin. Is this it? Oh, referee in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hopefully he recovers quickly. This could devolve into pure bedlam otherwise. What a stiff headbutt. Isolating their opponent's arm and all. Oh, Delivering nasty stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Time to see what you're made of. Ah, oh, gut check. Oh, 
Double it. Uh oh. Jimmy tied that one. Some serious harm. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh, a snap mare. Kick right to the spine. Goal! The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Taking the easy way. Can't say I approve of the champ's tactics, but that's one way to get the upper hand in a fight. Bang! Oof! Oh, Sakala holding him at bay. Boom! Oh! Big boot to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Scooped up, tombstone slam.
Finn just adding salt to the wound right now. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Solely focused on in a corner. Balor's got him hooked. Up and oh, 1916. In off the tag. I don't think Sokoa is aware of the danger that's coming. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. And huge burning lariat. A deafening cheer from the WWE Universe is reverberating around us. Absolutely unreal. And off the tag is Jimmy Uso. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. My God, enough! Sets him up. Gonna see a new champ. Cover. Shoulder up, shoulder up. I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? It's a spinning solo. What a moment! Here are your winners and the new Raw Tag Team Champions, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso! The Bloodline! This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE Women's Championship. She is the heavy hitter of the women's division, and she's definitely not here to make friends. She is here to make wins. You know, Stark has had plenty of championship gold in NXT, but did not miss a step when joining the main roster and continuing her dominance on the biggest stages. And that's because Zoe has the attitude you need to be a success in WWE. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will.
And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bayley. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. Introducing the challenger. The crowning jewel of the women's division being contested here. The final moments to focus on the prize before turning your attention on the competition. The most coveted title for women in our business, the WWE Women's Championship being contested here tonight. Well, that's more than just the title. There's a lot of pride and honor in that championship. There are a few things that represent so many hopes and dreams as the Women's Championship, and there's no wonder why it's so highly contested. I expect we'll see that high level of competition between these women tonight. Dragon screw! That'll tear your knee up. And that was a purposeful attack on the knee. Looking to topple the opposition. Champ's got the pen to retain. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Looks like it's gonna take much more here. She saw it coming. Unbelievable athleticism. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Zoe Stark's still a relative newcomer here in WWE. So what does she need to do to get people's attention in this match? Every match is an opportunity to show the world what you can do, and Zoe Stark can do a lot. She's a wealth of knowledge, and you can tell by what she does in the ring. Don't just lean on one skill, lean on all of them. Io is gaining the upper hand. And Sky might have from the top. And she doesn't connect. Oh, God. Shoulders are down. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. STO! Go behind. German! Nine! Couple of clotheslines. Well-placed kick right to the face. The champ now absorbing a little damage. This is why it's good to have a manager. It's good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. Two! She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Eo's been on the receiving end for a bit now. Zoe Stark's wealth of knowledge on display, leaning on all of her skill right now. 
Watch out! German suplex! Arm drag, nicely done. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. man. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, yeah, looking for the submission. Submission hold in place, wrench. Oh, serious peril. No, she counters. Boom, oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. A little cockiness here from EO Sky. She saw that coming from Zoe. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, court the clothesline to deny that maneuver. Oh, yeah. oh man, looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Oh. Nice escape. He is looking for a submission face first. The Koji clutch is locked in. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? And she lifts her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. The genius of the sky showing off a little bit. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh, wow. that'll wake you up. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Boom, what impact. Go behind. Jordan, nine. Does one find such strength at this stage to kick out that early in the count? From the top, nobody home for that one. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Zoe Stark looking to rev up the audience. And EO is in a daze. It could be the end for her soon. Zoe setting it up. On the mark with Z360. The title might change hands. Two. No, no, they kicked out. The champion kicked out. That was a matter of a fraction of a second. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. An impressive sequence from Zoe. This is a more daunting task than EO bargained for. Uh-oh. Made her pay for her mistake. EO managing to get some control back now. Now's a chance for EO to get back into this match. Big back body drop. EO with a turnaround. A set out mat slam. Going way up high. Oh, well, look out. But champions need to finish the job. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky. So she succeeds in defending her title tonight. There were a few moments where things were up in the air, but she was able to retain her title like a true champion.
Here comes the A-lister. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, the Miz! Well, the one thing we do know about the Miz is that he is living his childhood dream, being a WWE superstar, and he has redefined what it means to be a WWE superstar. Finally, put a little respect on his name, Saxton. Miz is a reality TV icon, a movie star, Grand Slam champion two times over, WrestleMania headliner. Oh, and he's the it couple with Maurice. One of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying, exemplified. And introducing the challenger, representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds. Hey, you blink and you might just miss Rey Mysterio. Moves like a jet doing Mach 10. He is incredible to watch. Time to go viral with one of the most polarizing figures in pop culture. And introducing the champion. There are folks in the crowd, on social media, heck, even backstage, who resent Logan Paul because he's a celebrity who shot to WWE superstardom. Well, some people believe Paul didn't pay his dues and he's an entitled celebrity. You know what? Those people can put in the work to make themselves a star like Logan Paul did. Until then, shut your mouth and immerse yourself in the Logan Paul experience because he's serving it up. Put your hard hats on. Logan Paul's about to go to work, and someone's about to catch some hands. Winning the United States Championship etches your name with legendary company.
Important fight for a title as the United States Championship will be defended in this match under triple threat rules with The Miz, Rey Mysterio, and Logan Paul. This is a dangerous match for a champion. The odds are against you, the rules are against you, everything is against you. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Oh, fighting nasty there. Seems like the champion isn't worried about bending the rules a bit here. Oh, helping him out with a leg drop. This shaky alliance is clearly in the champ's favor for the time being. Hooked up. Oh. Right to the kidneys from behind. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He's choking up on that back, looking to swing one into the parking lot. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. Here's the pin title on the line. Just kicks out. That was a long two count there. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. Being carried around with ease. Oh, right across the throat. Hoisted up into a powerbomb position, but steady punches and breaks out. Man, the next breaker. Everything working against Logan Paul now. Miz is showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Two breaks the count at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, what a shot! Really swinging wildly now. Slip out of things in a couple of them. Hands right to the mouth. And he had raised number there. Shots to the body. Heavy hands. Every ounce of the body is a target. Oh my god, a DDT! Spiked him. Hooked up and DDT. Logan 
Paul taking hold. Can't prepare your face for that. He's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Ray had that well scouted. The challenger not looking good right now. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Flying Majorana, beautiful. And Ray Mysterio with a championship on. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Boom! He clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. Miz escapes damage. After all we've seen, these men are still not finished. There's a fire burning inside these competitors that won't allow them to quit. He's got him scouted. Figure four leg lock applied. Uh, this one's over. Tap up. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Oh, man. Smart, attacking the arm. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Launching. Mysterio, what a frog splash. Gonna see a new champ. The rain continues, the champ kicks out. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out cost. The champ might be running on fumes. And Mysterio clearly frustrated over that kick out, asking himself, what do I have to do now? Accepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Drop kick on target. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. What do they have? What? Oh! Stops the count. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And he's taking this to the outside now. Taking this outside. This could be good. And what's he looking for here? It kicks for the A-lister. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Wait for me! It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Oh, God! Launch out to the outside! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh my gosh! Champ looking to end this. The pin's broken up. I can't believe. Ooh. Oh my god, a DDT! The muscle memory's got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Rapid forearm rakes. Drop kick.
victory as he retains the title. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. Alert the authorities, Dom Dom and Mommy have arrived. Oh, jeez, not this again. Cole, pay your respect to the modern-day Bonnie and Clyde. So, some have called Rhea Ripley the leader of the Judgment Day. So I suppose that makes Dom her secretary. Well, first of all, Saxton, it's executive assistant. And secondly, there are no leaders in the Judgment Day. They are a team of equals, equal partners. That's what Rhea and Dirty Dom are. They haven't even done anything yet. And they're already so smug. You'd be smug too, Cole, if you had a ride or die like Mommy. This is what the Judgment Day is all about. Ready to wreak havoc no matter the time and place. Dominic and Rhea simply revel in it. Here comes the boat of WWE. Well, Natalya represents a dynasty of sports entertainment. I'm looking at her right now, and I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero.
We see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. And here we go, these women ready to push themselves further than ever before, all in the name of being the Women's World Champion. Each woman is more than happy to mix it up and go places she's never been in order to leave here with the gold. Well, this looks like it's going to be another certified banger. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Opponents all wrapped up and a uh, Cobra clutch into the fireman's carry takeover. Bionic elbow driven down. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Pow. What a shot. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Delivering nasty stumps. Thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here. Oh no! Dangerous maneuver there. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Nice gut wrench suplex. Corey, if you're butting heads with Rhea Ripley, what's the most important thing to watch out for? It's got to be her ultra-aggressive streak. She's going to come at you hard with everything she's got without stopping. However, you may be able to turn that to your advantage by luring her into making a mistake in the ring. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Could be considered an unexpectedly rookie mistake from the veteran Natalia. This superstar blowing their opponent. Look at this. From corner. The champ falling victim to some absolutely bone-rattling offense there. Just lifted high into the electric chair position. This is going to be bad. Wait a minute. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. When we talk about truly heated rivalries, this is exactly the level of intensity we mean. Yeah, these superstars have been eagerly awaiting this moment. This is their best chance. Oh, big knockdown. And another one. This is something else. What a clothesline. Ouch. This superstar blowing their opponent. Look at this. From corner to corner. Oh, and again. Now Rhea is in a compromised position. Rhea's ultra-aggressive in-ring approach has been successfully mitigated thus far. Let's see if she can continue neutralizing Ripley's brutality. The submission specialist, Natalya. Oh, yeah, Natalya. This is a hard family tradition. Sharpshooter up. A reversal. Oh, she got herself out of it. to beat in the fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. And it's the counter with the reversal. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Short clothesline hits its mark. And Natalia has taken control. Yeah, and now he's proven hard to keep up with. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. One, two, Gotta be agonizing for the arm. Oh, and that buys some time. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. The challenger is not in a great place. And as this fight goes on, Rhea's reaching new levels of brutality. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. 
Rhea Ripley has her opponent up for the electric chair and check. And the official calls a double count out. Should have listened to the. Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sammy never gives less than 100% in the ring. Got to get himself locked in to go against the visionary. Yeah, I'm sure he's done his homework, and I'm sure he's well aware that Seth Rollins can easily manipulate you into making a mistake. but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. Sami Zayn has seen and done it all, which means that this man has got to be prepared for everything and anything. A highly contested World Heavyweight Championship handed to our official. Each superstar getting a glance of what's at stake.
Here we go, guys. This contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship. In very short order, this has become a highly coveted title here in WWE. Every guy wants to get their hands on it and take their turn as heavyweight champ. It's about proving you're one of the best in this business today. One of these men is about to do just that. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Denying a two count there. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Oh, that didn't go as set design. A running hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Champ caught off guard by that. Got it scouted. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Takedown, went over the cross face, it cinched in, this could be... We're gonna free the arm and does just that. <laughs> Tossed outside. With more in mind. <laughs> Suicide Tornado DDT! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Brain Buster! High impact offense like that is exactly what you want to do in a title fight. Great reversal. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Pedigree! Spectacular maneuver from Seth Rollins. Adapt and overcome. Oh, and don't forget the freaking Byron. You feel that in the air? There's a deeply personal... What a way to win a singles match. Here is your winner! And still the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins! A count out is always a tough way to lose. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable.
The pressure is on for the champion, looking to cement himself as one of the best of this era with a big win tonight. The real Apollo Crews is here. A former United States champion Won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. I think we're going to see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. Introducing the challenger from Benway State, Nigeria. continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. So much history attached to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to the track. Yeah, but right now it's all about living in the present, in the now. That's the only way the champ's gonna get out of this with his title in tow. Here's the pump handle, suplex, launched. The champion into the cover. And he easily stops the ref's count. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Just absolute disrespect from the champion. Hoping to send a message to the whole locker room. Side now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Matt slam with some attitude. So, uh, how do you prepare for an opponent like Gunther? Uh, I don't know. Go a few practice rounds with a semi truck. Gunther already. Oh no! Could possibly set it up for a submission maneuver. On the least. Oh, that's one way for him to get out. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Oh, short arm chopped. We're gonna hang on. And Gunther is showboating right now. They are 
both seeing red right now. This level of hostility is only going to lead to bad, bad things, guys. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. It's at two long, Saxon. He might get caught. What a ruthless showcase of ability from Cruz on that one. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, that's the kind of offense that opens people's eyes to Apollo. Gunther able to steer clear. Big boot. And now Apollo is being measured. Oh, Gunther gets caught with a counter. Oh, what an uppercut. So hopefully, this will be a short trip outside. Gunther doesn't just want to fight, he wants to battle. Oh, what impact! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Planet face first. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh, swinging neck breaker. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. <laughs> Cruz with a retaliation. Look at the power of Apollo Cruz. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, wow. The title might change hands. Try to end it. Somehow he kicked out. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? The arm absorbing the damage. The champ looking worn out. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really... Take down, looking for the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be up. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Look what he's got here. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. close to three. the title. He just cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance.